Hey guys, it's Yozzy Gamer here, and today I'm back on Forza Horizon 4 with another build. And this, as you can see, is a limo. It first showed up in Forza Motorsport 6. Um, we had it Forza 7, not Horizon uh, 3. We've now got it in Horizon 4. I'm a bit late, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to build this up, see what kind of maniac thing I can make this because it's just been available to uh, purchase in the Forza Fun shop for the start of uh, 2019 so yeah I have literally not uh, driven it in Forza 6 because I didn't have the pack I didn't drive it in Forza 7 because they locked it like dickheads because I just oh, I can't stand that game but in Horizon 4 I can finally finally do it they finally let us uh, purchase it it was 500 Forza Fun points so it's pretty pricey but what I did was do the I think it's the weekly challenge which is turning Forza Fun points, and I had a Forza Fun Live at the same time, so I got some points really quickly. Okay, so let's see what we can do for upgrades. I have no idea what I'm looking uh, for, like what I can do. Oh, okay, first, Viper V10, 7 litre V8, um, 6.5 litre V12, Racing V12, and a 4 rotor. Um, I don't know why I'd want a 4 rotor in it, but okay. That's kind of unique. So, uh, maybe I should go for... I think this is from the um, Aventador. Yeah, uh, I'll probably go for the... I, I don't like putting the Racing V12 in it because it sounds a bit uh, horrible. But yeah, I think I'll put the 6.5 litre V12 in it because, I don't know, I, I like the sound of it better. So, should I drive train swap it? Wait. It's front wheel drive right now, what? I didn't know that. Oh, good God, it's gonna have to be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So I'm gonna go all wheel drive because I'm gonna tune it obviously, and if I feel like I wanna make it rear wheel drive, I'll just change the bias. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do in part of body options. Okay, so we have uh, sport, race, and we've got the uh, race compound. I'm probably going to put race compound on it because uh, it's going to have a crap load of power and I know it will spin the wheels even I'm going to have max whip which 285 max whip is not great so <laughs> I'll definitely be able to get it to spin I kind of like these rims the uh, HRA flow FFO1s I'm not sure what you can do in terms of painting options on them I have not tried it yet but you know let's see Kind of be cool. I really enjoy uh, these rims. I think I used them in uh, Horizon 2 a lot. Okay, brakes. Um, it has single piston calipers. Uh, great. That's 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 good stock for this big boat. Um, four piston. Uh, bigger four piston or six piston, obviously. You need six piston on the front because otherwise you're just going to uh, cook the brakes. Oh, race height. Uh, that looks good. That looks, that looks low at the front. Okay. Weight reduction, bro, because I need that weight reduction. Wait a sec. I just want to check how much weight you put on. Oh, wow. So you put on 568 kilos when you uh, take the weight reduction uh, off. So, okay. Power upgrades. Okay, twin turb skis. Holy hell. Over a thousand kilowatts. Is that like 1,400 horsepower? And I think the Newton meters of torque is also, um, I think that's around 1,000 horsepower or something like that. A uh, 1,000 newt- 1,000 foot pounds! Come on, me! Uh, yeah, so this thing is S2. Okay, time to purchase the upgrades, which are, uh, 133,000. God damn. Okay, time to do some tuning, and then I'll do the paint. Okay, gearing. Now, I expect there to be short snappy gears, but I want a bit longer. Top speed, 409 stock. What the? This thing's fast. I think I'll just put it there. That gives me the 412 or something. Yep, there we go. Uh, camber, not going to touch. Springs. Actually going to raise the front a little because it looks a bit too high. Going to put the braking force. I usually put around 120%. Okay, uh, this, I will probably do around, uh, not 90, probably around 85%, because it's not a drift build, but it's also not to be absolute grip, it's kind of in between. 
So I think that's done. So we will do the paints. I'm actually going to see what kind of paints we can get on this first. Where I make, might make my own. Oh my god. Hoonigan. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So we got the um, Trumpigan. So Trump V2. I'm going to make my own custom one. It's not going to be as crazy. It's going to be uh, some sort of subtle color. Maybe white. I wonder what that would look like. That's quite nice actually. Gives it like a bit of class. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe I could do carbon. Um, yeah, that looks a bit overdone. Uh, spoiler, can't change that. Rims, what can we do? Oh, so it basically gives us hardly any option whatsoever. That's okay. I will put them to like uh, polished aluminum. I can change the barrel inside. Blacked out tint. Can't see the rest of the car. And we're done. Time to take this beast out on the road and see if I die or not. Oh my god. This like, this is my first time ever driving it. And it just... it It's weird. Like, it's this long. And it just... Put the power down and it slides. <laughs> like, wow. Jeez, like, it, it feels kind of stable, but at the same time it doesn't. Because you feel like you could smack something and you're not even trying to, because you can't judge how long this damn thing is. Well, it slides. It definitely does that, but, um, it's weird. Whoa, jeez. Oh, yep, I tapped that post because this thing's so damn long. <laughs> okay. I think I'm actually going to head into Edinburgh. Whoa. Uh, I think I'm going to head into Edinburgh because um, maybe it'll be not at home there and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Why does this work? It, it's, it skids well. It shouldn't, but it does. Okay. Racing into... Whoa. Crap. The rear tyres just let go. Just completely lost grip, and uh, that happened. Okay, um, I'm actually going to try and find some like uh, really tight um, bends or something, maybe like a roundabout, and see what this thing's like. Okay, well, these actually look okay. God, yeah. If you don't go super sideways, it's actually okay. Why is this working? I'm drifting a limo, and it's actually good. What the hell? Why does this work so well? I can't believe it. Wow. I... Oh, yep, there, there, that's my length. <laughs> oh... If it was a bit shorter, um, I probably wouldn't hit that car, but yeah. I'm actually going to try and find a real, a real double roundabout. Like a real UK one to see if this thing can't go around it properly. Okay, we are... Oh god, I gotta... <laughs> Can I block the whole road? No, because Forza made the roads wide as hell because... Yeah. Probably for this car alone. Up, oh, yep. Um. Okay, it works. Can I? No, I'm gonna try and drift. It's not gonna be easy. But I'm gonna try. Why is this working? This car shouldn't be drivable, but it is. <laughs> I think it's the way they've made the the handling file in Horizon 4. But yeah. <laughs> This is pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. I like to just block the road or a highway and just watch people race down and be like, Hello, I'm blocking your way. Like, I could go... Okay, there's a car there. Stop. You shall not pass. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm just a nice roadblock now. Okay. Well, I'm actually filming to end it here. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you're watching this far, you're a goddamn legend.
because yeah watch time is a must on YouTube and some people don't watch the full way through so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe follow my social media accounts all that stuff and yeah peace